Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show, and uh, really happy to have with us in our second segment, Seth Pitts, who is the new uh, president and CEO of Bay State Savings Bank. Seth, welcome. Hey, Tim. How's it going? Good, good. Well, uh, Bay State Savings Bank, uh, an iconic bank uh, here in the city of Worcester, uh, a lengthy history, uh, one of uh, only, I think, a couple banks that headquartered here in the city of Worcester. So uh, uh, congratulations on the role. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, the bank is, uh, it's been here for a very long time, over 125 years. It's actually the only bank that was originally headquartered in Worcester and still is. So very proud uh, as a Worcester-born uh, kid to be able to continue that legacy for sure. Yeah, and um, you mentioned 100 and how many years? 128, 128 maybe? years, yeah, yeah a, a long time. But uh, that, that connection and you being born and raised in Worcester, uh, a graduate of of uh, the Worcester Public Schools, Worcester State University, uh, UMass Boston. So uh, you, you, part, of, part of that 138 years is part of y your time here in Worcester too. Yeah, no, uh, I grew up in Worcester, I was born here. I know every part of that city, um, I love it. And uh, you know, it's, it's really uh, one of those dreams that you never thought could come true and they do come true uh, to be part of uh, the next wave of development and um, impact which i think is most important uh, to be able to have a platform to impact the very community and communities that i've called home for so many years as uh, is a great honor uh, and I don't take it lightly. Uh, it's just why we want to do everything we can to continue to be the place that people trust and rely on for all of their needs um, because we use that support to again impact the community in ways um, that can keep changing. Right and and you know people having you know uh, businesses we know critical having a relationship with a bank is absolutely critical to kind of their ability to function to grow and expand uh, individuals to their lifelong dreams whether it be you know car loan home loan uh, you know that bank and, and that banking financial relationship is important and uh, I know you just mentioned the other day you were out out in the community uh, or, what, or school recently. Yeah, no, it's interesting. Um, so I spoke recently at the Gerald Kramer Center, right, part of the Worcester, Worcester Public, Public School System, yeah. and uh, it was great to connect with the group of kids that, um, you know, in many ways, you know, share some of my, uh, you know, beginnings. And, right. Uh, sometimes uh, all anyone needs to hear is a little bit of hope uh, that they can hold on to and believe and uh, it was really a beautiful experience listening to some of the questions that the kids had uh, as well as you know their eyes lighting up uh, when they realized that you know this is something that they could do too right. and uh, the ability to impact their community uh, and be someone that could then reach back and tell somebody else about pushing through it and, and getting through it and doing whatever it is they believe they are intended to do and doing it well and you know banking and financial services like so many sectors I mean there's opportunities right now and and so with that you know, maybe you could talk a little bit how you you know got into banking and ended up at Bay State uh, in, your, in the current role but you had were in the bank uh, prior to that yeah it's weird um, you know I never thought I'd be a banker and I certainly never thought I'd be able to honestly say I love banking but I do uh, you know, out of college, I was recruited into uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, actually, uh, an agency called Rural Development, um, and where I did lending. So, you know, financial services as provided by the government. Yeah, and that's an agency. Um, you know, people aren't always aware there are certain government agencies that have a whole loan and finance, you know, financial end of it, and that's where you are. Absolutely, and it was beautiful because I was able to kind of get a firsthand experience of rural America for the first part, being from the city, you know, traveling to these towns. But also, you know, seeing the impact of, um, you know, financial services uh, provided to people who typically need extra help. So what we did, we provided uh, low-income housing loans, uh, multifamily loans, business loans, uh, and municipal loans to towns and water districts and things of that nature. Um, and we also did grants to elderly people mm -hmm. that, you know, couldn't get their roof fixed or needed certain health and safety repairs and sitting down with them in their homes. I got right. to touch the the people that were benefiting most. And so that was a great experience, you know, getting dollars out into those communities and seeing the impact um, was one that I'll never forget. Um, after a while doing that, um, uh, my next phase of uh, government service, public service, 
is with the FDIC, and I know that they've been... And for uh, someone who might know, the Federal Deposit mm, Insurance Corporation. Corporation, yeah. okay. Yep, so they are the insurers, so when you go to you know the bank and your deposits are insured, that was us, and part of my role there as a banking regulator was to really uh, make sure that the banking system was uh, kind of moving as it should through the community banking system. Um, and I got to see uh, so many different uh, banks across the country and do some really good work, uh, and again, and seeing the impact of where a good partnership with a bank in its community can lead to some lasting uh, impact. Again, I use that word often because it matters. Um, and so after doing that and gaining a lot of experience with some of the best minds I've ever worked with, I had the opportunity to kind of come home to Worcester. Uh, and as CFO at the bank, give some of my experience and knowledge and background uh, during the pandemic of all times to help uh, guide you know, my local bank um, through that and help the teams uh, continue to get through uh, each and every year, uh, hopefully stronger than before. Uh, I was fortunate enough to um, be able to step into this role uh, to continue to try and make an impact. Right, right, and, and Bay State, you know, with that, that history here, you've got a footprint uh, in, in Central Mass that's, you know, connected to a lot of communities. Yeah, strong name, strong legacy, uh, and I think it's a great time to really reset and re-evaluate uh, how we can continue to improve the client experience, the community experience, uh, by continuing to try to meet the evolving needs of the consumer and the community. Um, you know, this world is changing and technology is going to play a pivotal role in how we all evolve together. Uh, and so as the banking system evolves, I, I expect more and more adoption of technology. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm excited about that because that gives us uh, new and creative ways to continue to improve the experiences of all of our customers, especially the small businesses. Right, right. You know, small businesses run America. They are the the biggest employer uh, and they make the biggest impact on our cities and towns right, right. Uh, and being a community bank uh, focused on all people all communities um, small businesses will always have a special place in our hearts because who better to help the small businesses locally than the local community bank yeah and we estimate you know if the chamber there are 9,000 businesses of some shape manner and yeah. form here in the city you know, uh, as you said, the overwhelming, uh, overwhelming number of them are small businesses as our membership base. And we like to say uh, small business, not in the federal government's definition of 100 employees or less, but small businesses of probably 10 employees yeah. or less where that owner has got a whole, you know, he or she's got a whole host of responsibilities. And um, uh, having that personalized banking relationship is critical. Yeah, someone you can call, somewhere you can go, your friend knows them. and. I think it's important, and I think you know sometimes we get hung up on the word small, but it's a business and it's a place that people can uh, you know create a life, build a life, uh, and add to their life. Uh, and that business, whether big or small, can still make a big impact. And right. We aim to be a part of that uh, in any way we can. Right. So headquartered downtown Worcester on Franklin Street, uh, yep. with a branch there, but also branches. Throughout. Yeah. Yeah, we've got four branches in Worcester, one in Auburn, one in Holden. We also have an Auburn High School branch that we use to provide financial literacy and kickstart the financial education of, of some of our young students. Um, and yeah, you know, it, it's been uh, the reach so far, and we hope to continue to expand our reach um, again uh, as we move through the years. Right, right. Well, uh, Seth, uh, great, to, great to have you with us on, on this uh, segment of Chamber Exchange, and uh, congratulations on the role with such an important and long-standing bank uh, in the region, and, and best of luck to you and the team as you, as you go about. Uh, probably some good news. Uh, sounds like they're keeping interest rates <laughs> the same and maybe cutting them, and so yeah. hopefully uh, we'll, we'll have that soft landing uh, that people are talking about with the economy. And yeah, I hope so. And avoid a recession. Yeah, hope so. We'll be here no matter what the economy right. does. Right, so. 138 years, or you've been here through a lot. So yeah, Bay we're State still moving. Bank. Well, thanks for being with us, and come back. We're going to talk a little bit about housing uh, policy in the city of Worcester and uh, with David Sullivan. Since 1889, Bank Hometown has stepped up to bat for our neighbors. In the past five years, we've donated $1.3 million to local organizations that help enrich lives and bring people together. And we're not stopping there. We're always looking to tackle the challenges of today and fuel the leaders of tomorrow. No matter how life changes over the years, we'll continue to show up for our neighbors, for our communities, and for you. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.